everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Here, we share beginner-friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. So today, we are going to create a Roblox project called Cross the Bridge. This is an interesting adventure game where you have to cross a poisonous river, all right? You need to cross it through the bridge. It is not easy to walk along the bridge as there are obstacles such as holes. Then you see this laser trap, all right? Oopsies. All right, how about if I restart this again? This project will be in two parts, in which first, we're going to create the game scene. We're going to design it first. And then the second part will be the coding part. All right, let's try to cross this lasers first. Oops. And then I arrive in the hut. Yay. All right, so let's get started. So we are going to create a new project on Roblox Studio. After launching the app, let's click new and then let's choose base plate. First, we're going to make the pool of poison water. Click on the home button and click on editor, then generate. You will be given options on the left side of the screen. Now let's go down a little bit. Okay, now let's unclick everything. Unclick the biomes over here, except water. So we need water over here. And then let's make the biome size into 100. And then let's click Generate. Next, click on View and Open Explorer. Explorer should be this one. All right, it's in the right side part. And under the workspace, do you see base plate? All right. Now let's delete the base plate. Okay, so we have water over here. Next, we want you to change the color of the water of your choice. Now let's click on properties. All right, it's over here. And let's choose the terrain over here. In the Explorer part, choose terrain. Now we can change the water color. You can always go for purple if you cannot think of anything. Next, let's move the spawn location to the edge of the water. All right, let's use move. And we're going to move it to the edge of the water. All right, so now it's already in the edge of the water. Make sure that it's above the water. Now we'll add a bridge by adding a block from the home tab. All right, we're in home right now. And let's add a block over here, this part. All right. Now let's move it a little bit, move it a bit closer to the spawn location. Nice. Now let's set the material to wood. Okay, here, material. And then let's choose wood. All right. Now let's change the color into brown. All right, and then set the size, okay. Over here, go down in the properties, go down in the size. Let's change it into six comma one comma 50. All right, so it will be really long. Let's adjust it first. Okay, don't forget that you need to anchor the bridge as well. Don't forget to rename the part name into bridge. Right now, we're going to create a holes in the bridge. All right, so to create the holes, let's add five spheres on the bridge. Over here, home, part, and choose sphere. Okay. And let's adjust it. You can just easily duplicate it. But before duplicating it, how about let's put it, put it down here. Make it intersect. 
with the bridge itself. So you'll have it like this. Then what you can do is you can duplicate it all the time. Right click, duplicate, and then move it. And then you can right click, duplicate, move it again. Duplicate, move it again. Duplicate, then move it again. So you have five over here. Now what we need to do, let's use the select tool. And in the Explorer, let's, pr let's press the part and let's hold shift and then press this part so we can select everything that we have. Then let's go to model. Do you see solid modeling over here? Okay, this part is the negate. Let's create the negate over here. So it will be a negative part. Okay, now the last thing that we need to do we need to hold shift again on the negative part and then press bridge so we can select everything, including the bridge. After that, let's, let's press the union over here, which will create holes. All right, see, now it's creating holes over here. So actually the holes are to trick the players into falling through them. So if they are not wide enough, you can just always adjust the bridge by using the scale tool. Next, we will create a middle ground that acts as a buffer for players. Now let's go to the edge of the bridge. Now let's add a block. Over here, let's change the materials and the color that you like. Anything, basically anything. But make sure that the size is 15, 1, 15, all right? Now let's go to the property, select the part, select the buffer. I'm going to select the buffer, then adjust it a little bit, and let's look for the size. Okay, the size, we're gonna change it into 15, comma one, comma 15. Okay, let's adjust it a little bit more. Then you can change the materials and also the colors. And don't forget that you need to anchor it. Now we're going to create the next bridge. Okay, so the next bridge will be slightly more challenging as it will include bombs. The second bridge will have the same property as the first, all right? So how about, let's create a part. Yep, adjust it. And then we're going to change the material into wood and the color into brown. And make sure that you have the size of six, okay, six, one, and 50. You can always adjust it. Don't forget that you need to anchor it again and rename it into bridge. After creating the bridge, how about let's create the bombs now. Now on the bridge, we're going to add a part and then we're going to scale it a bit smaller. And then we're going to change this into neon. We're going to change the material into neon. And then we're going to change the color into red. Don't forget that we're going to rename it as bomb. Now, what we need to do is we can duplicate it. And each side, we will add three of it. Duplicate, and then move it. Duplicate again and then move it again. 
Let's do it for the right part also. Duplicate it and then move it. Duplicate it and then move it again. Duplicate it and then move it again. Now for the last part, let's design our goal over here. I want to add a hut from the toolbox. All right, and I'll look something that will suit that is suitable for this case. All right, I'm going to add a Vietnam hut on water. All right. Then I'm going to adjust it. Or maybe I can just rotate it. Maybe it'll be better. Okay, you can use the rotate tool. Yep, this will be better. Okay, this is better. All right. Feel free to add signs or messages of your choice. You can really add anything that you like. All right, now I'm going to try to play it first. Let's see if everything works properly. All right, so this is how my bridge looks. All right. Okay, and it has neons, but it, it's not working right now. And I already have my design goal over here. All right. So this is how the project will work. So that's all for the game design of this project. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Also, check out these two other videos here while you're waiting for the next video. Thank you and see you in the next video. Goodbye.